Hello, kiss friends. It's that time of the year, uh, the time for announcing the Christie's Missing Readathon uh, for the fourth time. The Christie's Missing Readathon is a readathon uh, that is uh, created uh, to read more Agatha Christie and uh, to honor Agatha Christie by reading uh, Christie related uh, books. Uh, in the anniversary of 11 days uh, that she went missing in uh, December 1926, uh, this readathon uh, will uh, take place in the uh, dates between December 3rd and December 14th. I have been uh, very proudly co-hosting this readathon with uh, my uh, dear friends Naomi, Rachel and Kevi uh, for the past three years. Uh, Kevi uh, unfortunately will not be joining us uh, this year, but we are hoping uh, to have her back uh, in the following years. Uh, this readathon is very special. Uh, to me because uh, I have discovered many Agatha Christie lovers and became uh, fast friends with them through this readathon. Uh, the only requirement uh, for uh, attending this readathon is to read a work uh, written by Agatha Christie during this 11 days. However, if you want to uh, be more involved uh, in uh, the Agatha Christie world and uh, if you are a, a prompt lover like myself, uh, we of course have uh, prompts uh, for you, but uh, this year, uh, with the exception of the group book, which is optional, uh, you can read uh, other books uh, for the prompts as well. Uh, our group book is the uh, first uh, Miss Marple novel, uh, which is The Murder at the Vicarage by Agatha Christie. Uh, I have uh, read this book uh, twice actually, uh, but uh, since Miss Marple is my favorite Agatha Christie director, uh, I think uh, it will be uh, a great pleasure uh, to read it uh, with all of you again. Like the previous years, we have five prompts. Uh, the first prompt is to read a book with murder in the title. There are many books by Agatha Christie and other authors uh, with murder in the title. I think it is the most common word uh, used in the title of the mystery books. The second prompt is to read a short story or play. Aside from novels, Agatha Christie also wrote many short stories and many plays. Like I said before, you can read a short story or a play from any genre. As for a mystery not set in England, although I think uh, more than half of our works uh, were set in England, uh, Agatha Christie also wrote many books set in different parts of the world. Also, she wrote uh, many uh, mysteries featured uh, in some kind of uh, transport vehicle. For this prompt, you can read one of uh, those books as well as any type of mystery that is not set in England. There are many uh, wonderful uh, translated mystery books that could fit uh, with this prompt. The fourth prompt is a book inspired by Agatha Christie. The majority of uh, the female authors uh, writing mysteries today declare themselves uh, to be inspired by Agatha Christie. Uh, you can read uh, one of uh, their novels. Uh, likewise, many of the modern novels uh, feature a plot device uh, that Agatha Christie uh, first used. Additionally, there are many, many books uh, featuring Agatha Christie as a character. Uh, so any of those books uh, would fit this prompt. The fifth prompt is a book mentioned by Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie as a big book lover talked about uh, many uh, mystery books as well as many classics books, poems and uh, plays in her fiction books. And of course, she mentions many of her own books in her uh, autobiography. My hardworking co-host uh, Naomi uh, created uh, a Goodreads shelf featuring many of these books. Uh, so you can take an inspiration uh, from there. And lastly, uh, if you are extra competitive or want to do teamwork, we have brought back our detective teams. Naomi will be uh, the team leader of Team Ariadne Oliver. Uh, Rachel will be the team leader of uh, Team Parker Pine. And I will be the team leader of Colonel Race. Colonel Race is a detective uh, that has been uh, featured in uh, four of Agatha Christie novels. I have read all of them and they were all very, very good books. The books in order are The Man in the Brown Suit, Cards on the Table, That on the Nile, and Sparkling Cyanide. Uh, Cards on the Table and That on the Nile also belongs to uh, the uh, Poirot series. Connolly Race assists Poirot in those mysteries. 
I will certainly read uh, one of those four books for the prompts. Since the prompts are so flexible, I think you can be in either of the themes uh, without reading any of the directives uh, featured. We have a bonus prompt uh, for those who want to join my team, which is a book uh, featuring a character connected to military. They can be the main characters or uh, secondary characters. Colonel John Race uh, was a member of the uh, military before joining the British intelligence. And that's why he is still called by his military rank. I will talk more about how the teams will work in my recommendations video, uh, which will be featured in the second half of this month. I will be very, very pleased uh, if you would uh, join my team. Like I said before, uh, you can join this readathon by reading just one work by Agatha Christie. So this was our announcement uh, for uh, the uh, Christie's Missing Readathon round four. Uh, please comment down below. Are you thinking of uh, joining uh, the readathon and join our very welcoming Agatha Christie community? If you're a new viewer, first of all, welcome. Uh, please like and subscribe. Hope to see you very soon. Bye. As for Turkish word of the day, I'm going to choose Kolonel. Kolonel means albay in Turkish and albay is our Turkish word of the day. Have a good day.